Good evening and welcome back to the Westport Independent. I am Odia Baradis. We are back in week eight this time. Four weeks remaining. Two episodes remaining in the series as well then. Uh, and we are definitely on the government's radar for sure. We are, have not successfully flown under their radar. We are definitely under suspicion. No matter our best efforts last time to make the most milk toast and uh, government friendly paper we could bring ourselves to do without feeling too icky about everything. Uh, but it didn't matter. We still gained more suspicion despite having pretty much the worst paper ever last couple weeks here. Anyways, we've got mail today. Trust in numbers, not in government. In a world where information is controlled by those in power, trust should be put in the people, not in the authorities. Join the rebellion today. Workers against oppressors, numbers against class. Wow. I think as a populist taper like us, we should probably should go with that. Here's the breakdown from, yes, last week's sales. As I said last time, we had a little bit of decrease in the northern suburbs. Uh, Eastern factories also sold less, southern did also, uh, and then western districts. We have to get more popular with those guys again. And then uh, total popular went down, actually, and suspicion went up. Not, not at all anything we wanted to happen there. So let's take a look and see what we have for articles today. Now, we did have a problem last time with recycled news stories, and I don't know why that was happening, but maybe it was a bug, or maybe because we did put them to denied articles and put them through again, but I guarantee we printed at least a couple of those before. So let's see here quick. Cartoonist arrested for slander. Let's just grab the most interesting headlines here, first of all. Cartoonist arrested for slander. Government arrests man for cartoon. Oh, man. Oh, boy, okay. A cartoon, a, a, cartoon, a cartoon artist for the Great Western Inquirer was today arrested and is currently awaiting trial. Details of the charges are unclear, but include slander and producing treasonous materials. This came after the recent comic strip, The Government Body, which cast several public figures as different parts, as different body parts. What? I would like to know more specifics about this little comic strip about the government body. Um... I could see how that could go very blue very quickly if you get my meaning um, or a slander. How do we want to spin this? Ah, oh, boy, if we do this, they're definitely not going to like us. But um, we need to have the, the, the population on our side and the, I don't know, is the rebellion gaining traction? Maybe. Does this help the cause, though? Not a whole lot. Let's leave that out for right now. Multiple industrial giants suspected of having connections to violent gang, maybe. 28 people arrested for protesting. Mm. Carol Miller files for divorce due to outside pressure. Okay, that's the celeb article. Uh, construction company accuses, accused of hiring illegal immigrants. Former rebel speaks out to the press. Oh, wow, we might want that. And then public interest groups pan Westport Theater Company's love letter to Temple Pike. What? Tremble Pike. Public interest groups pan Westport Theatre Company's love letter to Tremble Pike. Last night, Westport Theatre Company released its long-awaited rendition of Harriet. Over public interest groups like ARRS have protested its immoral casting choices. They refer to the choices of casting men in the roles of Greta and Olivia. Interesting. This was a tribute to the old theatre and the anniversary of the author's passing. Public outrage to the Westport Theatre Company's immoral casting of Harriet. Oh, wow. Um, this is some celeb news. We could definitely use this to gain a lot of traction in the north if we wanted to. Um, I guess that might, might be what we want to do is to do some celeb news and maybe get some tra traction with them. Um, public interest group Span Westport Theater Company's love letter. Okay, so this is like they didn't like. It. Okay, public interest groups don't like their 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 love letter to Temple Tremble Pike. Okay. And then the public outrage to Westport's theater company is immortal. So this is like public outrage. And this is like just panning. Outrage is a better headline. We'll go with that. Um, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it so it's fair and balanced out here, basically. Um, I hate to say fair and balanced, but that's what kind of what it is. We're going to say it was a tribute to the author's passing. Hopefully they understand. Uh, the outrage should be implied, I guess. I mean, from the public interest groups. I mean, the problem is public outrage is like not the same thing as public interest groups outrage it's kind of a you know thin line there but we'll, we'll print it still frank can do it uh I, I hate to give him anything at all he's probably yeah look at him he's gonna be in trouble um i'm really interested in this one okay let's take a look here quick 
Former Rebel speaks out to the press. Today, a man claiming to be a former member of Rebel Cell approached local press for an interview. The man admitted to a number of legal activities, including recent attacks on the police officers. Uh, he claimed to have parted ways with this group as a result of his guilt. It's getting worse, he stated. If it continues, to in hurt innocent, if it continues, innocent people will be hurt, okay? The end times are near. Confessions of a former rebel. Oh boy, do we want to print this? I feel like we should. If we want to help the rebels, we should not print that. Because the rebellion might be failing, for all we know. We don't know. We have, we have popularity. People's opinion of the loyalists versus rebels and who, who they're favoring more. But if we have... This article saying, oh, this is the end times, we're quitting, they're violent, we don't want to do this anymore. It's going to go badly for them. Um, I mean, it's probably why the government has such suspicion for us, because it's slowly climbed every single week been doing this. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. Multiple industrial giants suspected of having a connection to violent gang. Recent information from anonymous sources impl impl implicates several of Westport's major businesses of affiliating with vile, the vile rags. Again, the vile rags pop up. As the city's most infamous criminal gang, the Vile Rays are suspected of involvement in over 100 crimes last year alone. Amongst the suspected companies is Ramavil, which owns several businesses throughout Westport. The Vile Rags, underground puppet masters of the Western Ports Industries. Oh my gosh, that would be a headline. Wow, that would be a headline indeed. Let's go with it. I kind of want to print this. I mean, self-preservation be damned. I think we should, might want to go with this. Um... Anything we can redact from this that's gonna like help it at all? Let's see, a city's most famous gang. Okay, Valray is suspected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we wanna name names? That's the thing. Do we wanna name names? This could be, this could. Oh, okay, so big picture, this could actually be not true. The Vile Rags connection to Ramavil, the government's had problems with them in the past as part of, as part of supporting rebels. So, man. That would be something if they're giving us this little news saying, oh, this is news. This is news. The Vile Rags are in cahoots with the Ramaville and then Ramaville, the was company that supports the rebels, is going to go out of business because we're. Yeah, boy. I don't know if we can print this if we want to help them out, man, but there's there's very little we can do for them right now. Um, cartoon is arrested for slander. Government arrests man for cartoon. Oh, boy, this would be inflammatory for sure. Who do we have write it though? Phil? <laughs> I cannot bring myself to write this article. Force! Yeah, okay, fine. Um, if whenever there's a force option, I'll do it. Uh, let's see. 20 people arrested for protesting. Or police stop rebel riot in progress. Okay, 28 people arrested for a protest for near Warren Birth Park. Warren Birth Park. The rally was against the public culture bill, which came into the labor for came into force later this year, which will come into force later this year. The situation took a violent turn as the protesters resisted arrest by arriving officers. Protests ceased after backup arrived. It always seems to cease after backup arrives, doesn't it? Oh boy, okay, this we've had before. Police stop rebel riot in progress for 20 people arrested for protesting. Boy. Um. Uh, we leave that part out. I think we might have done this before like that. We, we left that part out. Took a violent turn after resisting arrest. Uh, you know, this is like everything went down peacefully. People, what do you, people, oh, if we leave the, we have to have the point where people arrested. <sighs> Police stop a rebel right in progress. Boy, I don't know. There's no good way to spin this. Um, this way it makes it sound like the government's just arresting people for protesting, not that they turn violent. This is if we leave this part out. If we leave it in, it becomes clear that there was a violent turn that made them start arresting. Wait, then again, it said a violent turn as the protesters started resisting arrest, so that is kind of what happened. The police started arresting and then things turned violent. So they weren't being allowed to protest, basically. Okay, let's, let's see. Force that one for Phil. Phil, write that one. And write that one. Oh my god, people are gonna be, oh, we're gonna get everybody killed. Okay, this is gonna be it for us. Uh, I'm just gonna see how far we can push this and see what happens. I'm curious. Carol Miller files for divorce due to outside pressure or a construction company accused of hiring illegal immigrants. Construction company of Westport contractors faces accusation of hiring illegal immigrants. The accusations are leveled by various clients of the company who complained about sloppy workmanship and language issues. As a result, the company was to be audited by the government officials to examine these claims, okay? Or Westport contractors, a safe haven for foreign criminals. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Okay, let's do this. Let's let's do uh, Carol Miller files for divorce. Miller's marriage falls apart, leaves husband tox leaves husband's toxic environment. Okay. Today, Carol Miller announced that her divorce from her divorce from husband Johnny Martelli. Okay. This came as af this came after two months of marriage due to personal differences. Two months. Their relationship was further strained, Miller said, due to various unfounded rumors. Uh, it's been nothing short of a nightmare, Miller stated. I mean, I guess with celeb news, let's get some of that in there. Um, hit, hit, check all the boxes, I guess. And what are we leaving out? We're leaving out end times for Rebel. We're leaving out that, and we're leaving out the destabling this article. Okay, so we're trying to save the industry, basically. Of, of if, if, if indeed the government is trying to destabilize that industry, that Emramovic factory, um, we're trying to save it. Now, I guarantee, I guarantee we're going to have some issues here. Um, I guess the only thing we could do possibly is switch this one, or like give Phil or give Frank the, uh, the, the uh, celeb gossip. Let's see what happens. All right, to lay out. 28 people arrested for protesting. Big, bold headline. Short, simple, that makes a good headline. Or, government arrest man for cartoon. Holy cow. Man, we would get drug out in the street if we, if we print this. I'm nervous for us. I really am. We gotta do something here, though. Something big. Big, big, bold choices here. I'm interested to see what happens. I mean, I don't know if there's what the lose conditions of this game are. If there are any, I don't know anything like that. I'm just going to see how far we can push this. If we end up getting the paper shut down early, so be it. Um, I'm interested to see how this goes. So Miller's marriage falls apart, leaves toxic. Okay, this is like the celeb news. Uh, let's see. Let's leave that. Let's leave that for the final page, actually. Plenty of people arrested for protesting. Let's, let's mix it up, actually. Let's go this, then this, then this. No industry this time around. Okay, so let's get the marketing here. We're gonna go celebrity. We'll go. T let's go. Let's go twenty eight percent with that. These guys like crime and, and celebrity, so that's better actually. We'll go thirty seven for them. Uh, societal and industrial. No industrial. So we'll just go societal and see what happens. And then south is crime and societal. Okay, so we're gonna go heavier into them. The southern districts here. Maybe back this down a little bit too. So 30 and 33 to the west. And this is where the checks the box is the best in those two sections. So we'll go with that. Um, the bureaucratic agencies. Oh, I forgot about that part. This is where the government actually sounds like they are. The bureaucratic agencies are here. So they are going to read this and be like, hey, uh, what are you doing? Okay, well, uh, Say goodbye to our paper. Hard-boiled stories every day. This is the first time I've seen this one. Societal and crime, basically, is what's going on. Hard-boiled stories every day is our new, 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 new tagline for the paper today. Government's not going to like it. We are going to get shut down right now. Let's find out. Frank. So I finally saved enough money for a TV. Haha, <laughs> nice of you to leave your cave and join the rest of civilization. Phil, don't be an ass. Do you need help carrying it home? Nah, a friend of mine will help me with it. It needs to be carried all the way from the southern docks, after all. Wait, you're going to carry a brand new TV through there? Are you mad? We'll cover with a blanket. I've been in the southern docks a ton of times, I'll manage. Probably. Yeah, you're walking through the nasty region of town there. Week nine. Three weeks left till the culture bill comes into force. Oh my god, this is... We did too much today. We did way too much. We were going to be shut down. Okay, so this is what I was suspecting. We're better, better in the southern districts than we had in the past, um, which is good because a lot of people live down there. Uh, so we want to increase the popularity with them. Now the northern we lose, lost some popularity, and western we lost a little bit. Looks like. Let's see how it did. <gasps> oh boy, we've really done something to ourselves this time. Okay, now it's like panic mode. It's it's seriously panic mode. We need to print something that's favorable for the government. Oh boy, we've swung the people's opinion for the rebels though now though. You've got mail. Oh god. Oh god. <gasps> two letters. I don't like two letters. I don't like two letters. It's like Schrodinger's cat. Basically, as long as we don't 
If as long as you don't open the envelope, our our paper is both alive and dead at the same time. All right, let's find out. Dear editor, one of your employees, Julie, has for the last few weeks created content for your paper that can only be described as disloyal. Her frivolous behavior of jumping from nest to nest has made her lose sight of her roots. Her naive mind must have taught the position must must be taught the position she is in. If not, punishment will fall on both of your heads. Whoa. Julie, I'm sorry. We were not... You were kind of just moderate, and we were not really concerned about you, but I guess we've been giving you the hard-hitting stuff lately. Oh, boy. That's a tough one. All right, Julie, we'll try to, we'll try to take care of you as best we can here. All right, and let's read this one. Oh, boy. Okay. Dear editor, one of your employees, Anne, has recently shown quite a rebellious attitude in her writing for your paper. While she has no history of disloyal behavior, her recent actions have led us to consider taking this matter in our own hands. Proper disciplining is in order, otherwise we will be forced to act in order to discourage future events like these. The Loyalist Party. Holy cow. I had no idea. Well, okay, Julia is not that suspicious. I mean, there's Frank out there. I mean, why are they worried about... Oh, we can't. the problem is, I think the problem is we we didn't like pass all of our our loyalist uh, or our uh, our rebel support to Frank. Now we've spread it across the board. Now Phil is even under suspicion. Oh, he lives with his disabled brother. Is that what? The, okay, so is that what the deal is? is his brother John. Is that is that um? What's going on? The guy can't walk. I guess that's what's going on. I guess that's the thing we had to really read about our characters here a little bit more. Anyways, uh, that was last episode, I think, anyways. So, boy, oh boy. I mean, we're not swinging any opinions here. I mean, these ever all the battle lines are drawn here. Everyone's still exactly where they left off. No one's, no one's ever changing between Loyalist and Rebel, but it's really interesting we can get opinions. So really, we gotta give Phil the hard-hitting stuff here. And Anne even can't even take it anymore. No one can take the hard-hitting stuff, so we're gonna have to get some people... Oh, Pro-government! Pro-government, here on out, I guess. Romville industry suffers another financial loss. Police shut down prostitution ring in the East. New committee to monitor devious content in comic books. Oh, God. Movie star arrested for participating in protest. Wow. Romville outsourced to undeveloped countries. Vandal is the North Suburbs. And new apartments planned for the Western District. All right, this sounds like good news, at least. New apartments planned for the Western District. Or is it gentrification? I don't know. Western District is the rich part, right? So then maybe it's not gentrification. If it was, it was the south, southern docks, then maybe it would be a problem. Plans for new apartments in the western districts have been announced, although planned for some time, the final decision was not taken until yesterday. Citizens of the southern docks, where homelessness has steadily increased for years, have criticized their decision. Expensive apartments to be built in the western districts while the docks are left with a housing shortage. I don't think homelessness is necessarily a housing shortage situation. I mean, to describe it as such, uh, I don't think the problem is that there's just not enough houses to go around is usually the thing. It's like usually that there's not enough Money to go around is what's going on and not enough jobs to go around. It's the kind of homelessness situation I think I don't know if I want to work with that one too inflammatory Romaville Romaville Industries keeps on falling fast according to report. Okay, or suffers further financial losses Romaville have had quite a bad year Today it's a recent report. It is claimed that the company has lost roughly 38 million somethings, L's, this year, making it Romville's third fiscal year in a row with negative earnings. The company claims that this will not affect their latest venture of localizing their business to Westport. Okay. Or, what's the opposite of that one? Industries keeps falling fast. Okay. Boy. Let's just stick to the facts, you know? Let's let's give it to Julie. It keeps falling fast, according to report. Okay, let's, let's go with it. And anything reacted? I don't think we're reacting anything. I think we'll go with it as it is. I don't, I really honestly don't see any problem with that. Um, maybe the government will have some problem. I don't know. Police shut down prostitution rings. Last night, the police shut down a local brothel in the Eastern District. According to statements, the police have long suspected location. All patrons have been arrested. Witnesses claim to have heard one of the women pleading that they have already paid for protection. Oh my gosh. Please shut down brother. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of thing. Okay, please shut down. Yeah, this is this is the kind of thing we want to avoid. Um, 
Let's leave that part out. I think we've had this one already before. We're getting recycled stories constantly here. It's a little disappointing um, that we don't have enough stories to go around here. Maybe it's just a new, we can just rerun the article that we ran last time. This is, I think, pretty much what we ran last time, but we'll go with it. Police shut down prostitution ring. We'll give it to Anne because we want to get them less suspicious. To Phil, we can actually have some suspicion to burn with, but we're not going to do anything too inflammatory. Uh, okay, so let's let's take a look at this one here. Do apartments. Leave that part out. It's going to hurt us in the southern docks for sure if we do that. I don't want to get rid of our most best region here. So, movie star arrested for participating in a protest. Yesterday, renowned movie star Harold Finn was arrested during protests for the Western Districts. In addition to the movie star, 58 other protesters were arrested during this. incident. The numbers are going up here, you notice. It was like 18 people, 28 people, now it's 58 people. The actor claims that he was not actually participating in the protest, but merely passing through in the crowd when a, phone, a police officer grabbed him. Okay. Movie star joins violent- oh my god. Violent rebel rival. Wow. That would be interesting. Do we want to bring down? Do we want to bring down a star? Another peg? Uh, was written down. Movie star brought down by a. Leave this part out. That explains what he was doing there. Um, and it looks very, very bad for him. I think we go with it. I think the government might like this. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Movie star arrested for participating in protest. I guess we'll go. Who do we give this to? Phil. Yes, you can. Do it, Phil. Uh. The wait, that's going to mean... <laughs> okay, so I think we have the opposite problem here. If we actually do that, it makes it sound like the movie star is joining this rebel riot. Uh, and the government's be like, wait, 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 what? The, 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 the actor? The actor, Harold Finn, the guy with the cafe that just opened. He's joining the rebels. Uh, that's why that's why Phil can't bring himself to write it. Okay, we have to hold off on that one because we did not want any more suspicion. We're in week nine. We have we have three weeks left. We have to just have to survive. I don't know if surviving is enough. It might not be. <sighs> Robinville outsourced to underdeveloped countries. A recent report claims that industrial giant Robinville Industries has outsourced almost all of their production overseas during the last few years. Meanwhile, several factories in the Westport have been shut down, leaving hundreds of people unemployed. This has allowed unemployment in areas like the Eastern factories to double over the last three years. Maybe we need to take Robinville down a peg. Robinville abandons Westport to unemployment, outsources to undeveloped. Wow, I mean, this Robinville factory, they were supposedly supporting the rebels at one point, I thought, or suspect, suspected of it. One of their steel companies, right? But now, I don't know. I mean, I'm not in favor of them outsourcing stuff. Maybe, again, this could be the government telling us things that aren't true about the company. But then again, they're having record losses at the same time. Like, they're outsourcing, so they have to outsource. I mean, it's not really their choice, I feel like. They're trying to stay in business. Uh, where is my article on that? Rahamaville. Rahamaville popped in the paper twice. So they keep falling fast, and then also, they're outsourcing. All right, let's take a look at vandalism. Vandalism in the northern suburbs, or rebel propaganda and vandalism in the northern suburbs. Wow, okay. Several broken windows and painted and paint smeared walls were found in the northern suburbs. The paint spelled out phrases such as down with the government, freedom of the people. The local rebel group is believed to be responsible. I've already, okay, well, I think we'll just go with rebel propaganda. We gotta get somebody on our side here. Frank, you can print that one, right? Um, Cause that'll get them down for your suspicion. You should print that one. And then we need something for we need something for our good old Phil here. Do we take Romaville down another peg or do we talk about the Western districts? I think we'd leave that part out. This is this is like this is like gonna hopefully get them back on our side here. And get us through. If we can at least, at least decrease it just a little bit, we might be able to get through the next coming weeks here. Then again, three weeks is a long time. We've got we got 20 points last time for a suspicion. Now, I don't know what happens once that meter gets full. Maybe they shut us down immediately. Maybe we just have to fly along a little bit longer, but I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous to say the least. Okay, let's get on with it here. To layout. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so please shut down prostitution ring. New apartments. Ramaphable Industries. This is more like a page two thing, I think. This is a page four thing. I think this is page one. Okay, page one. Page two. No. Page two. Followed by page 
three, and page four. No celebrity this time around, but that's okay. We can get by with it. Uh, Northern Suburbs, they like industry, so we'll give them a little bit, like 22. Uh, these guys love crime news and celebrity news. We'll give them a little bit, like 22. Eastern loves societal and industry. Let's give them a 22. And then you guys love societal and crime. Let's give you guys a little bit extra. I like it. All right, one paper for everyone. All right, let's see what happens. I'm nervous for our, our paper here. I'm really, really nervous. So let's find out. Let's go. Passed through the southern docks on my way home to pick up some stuff for a friend. My gosh, that place becomes more run down every year. I'm surprised you even dare to go there. There are just so many criminals who will rob you blind if you make a single mistake. It's not that bad. I've walked through there before. And while it's a rowdy place, to say the least, personally, I've never been attacked. I've got a real fill of this one. I've had friends who've been assaulted there. There's no way I'd go to that place without re reliable company. A woman probably shouldn't walk alone in those parts of the city anyways. A woman should be able to walk alone anywhere without fear for her life. Well, yeah, I agree, but... Some parts are better than other parts, it seems like. So, two weeks left until the whole culture bill comes into force. Week 10. Alright. Not doing so well in that regard here. Not as much popularity as I thought. Our popularity is going to be decreasing once again, I think. Oh, boy. Alright, we're not we're not playing to the strengths, apparently, of those, those districts. We need to knock it out of the park again here. Oh, we lost suspicion, though. That was the whole goal here. We lost the popularity. We lost the suspicion. We got one back to the loyalists. That's not that bad. We need to, we need to make it another th three weeks here still with f with like maybe like a hundred, like out of a hundred here. We have like maybe like, I don't know, 10 points left. <sighs> not, not good. Not pretty. OK, well, that's going to do for this episode of the Westport Independent. We're trying to stay independent and uh, the, the public culture bill is uh, looming on our breath, on our necks this time. The public culture bill is looming in the future here in a few short uh, weeks here. So we'll come back with week 10 next time. Thank you guys for watching and we'll be wrapping this up real soon. So stay tuned. Have a good night.